Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 17th of March, 2023, of the third week of Lent, is the optional memorial of St. Patrick, Bishop. Ever keep in mind your end, and that time lost returns no more. Daily Prayer We love you, O our God, and we desire to love you more and more. Grant to us that we may love you as much as we desire and as much as we ought. O dearest friend, who has so loved and saved us, the thought of whom is so sweet and always growing sweeter. Come with Christ and dwell in our hearts, that you keep a watch over our lips, our steps, our deeds, and we shall not need to be anxious either for our souls or our bodies. Give us love, sweetest of all gifts, which knows no enemy. Give us in our hearts pure love, born of your love to us, that we may love others as you love us. O most loving Father of Jesus Christ, from whom flows all love, let our hearts, frozen in sin, cold to you and cold to others, be warmed by this divine fire. So help and bless us in your Son. Amen. This prayer is from Saint Anselm of the 12th century. Wisdom, understanding, and prudence are gifts of the Holy Spirit that enable us to know the commandments of the Lord, to see reality in their light, and to act accordingly. The scribe answers Jesus with understanding, the same understanding of him who is wise and prudent. To be close to the kingdom of God, then, is to activate these gifts in love with our eyes fixed on the verdant cypress tree, the cross, from which comes the saving fruit we eat and bear. The Epistle We will not say to the work of our hands, Our God. A reading from the book of the prophet, Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, who you have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all inequity, and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, Our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defects, says the Lord. I will love them freely. For my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. 
in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. Psalm 81 Responsorial I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden, his hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder, I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Gospel The Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 12, verse 28. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, he is one, and there is no other than He. And to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that He answered with understanding, He said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God and no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. You are not far from the kingdom of God. Mark chapter 12 verse 34. How deeply Jesus must have loved and respected this student of the Mosaic Law. He could tell that this man had spent many hours reading and pondering scripture and debating this one central question with fellow scribes. What is the most important of God's commandments? In his answer, Jesus drove right to the heart of the issue. Love is the answer. Love God wholeheartedly, which naturally involves loving yourself and loving your neighbor. The scribe approved of Jesus' answer, and Jesus approved of him. It's easy to imagine Jesus smiling as he said, You are not far from the kingdom of heaven. Mark chapter 12 verse 34. 
Jesus smiles at each one of us. We show by our actions that we also grasp what is at the heart of God's commands. To each of us, he says, you are not far from the kingdom of God. We may think that being not far from the kingdom means that we are only a step or two away from entering heaven. But the truth is, God's kingdom is all around us, and that means that we can taste its goodness every time we try to love the Lord and our neighbor. Here are some examples. First, when you offer your day to God as soon as you get out of bed, you aren't far from the kingdom of God. Second, When you forgive the family member who slights you, you aren't far from the kingdom of God. Third, when you stop off at church during lunch and spend five minutes before the Blessed Sacrament, you aren't far from the kingdom of God. Fourth, when your co-worker mentions a need in her family and you promise to pray for that need or even offer to pray with her, you aren't far from the kingdom of God. Fifth, when you stop what you're doing yet again to comfort your child during a thunderstorm, you aren't far from the kingdom of God. And six, when you remember that your friend's spouse died on this date last year and you pray for him and call to check in on him, You aren't far from the kingdom of God. God's kingdom is a lot closer than we often realize. It's only a matter of living in His love. Jesus, thank you for bringing your kingdom to earth. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.